what are the things we should be looking at to determine whether it really is revival? You told us we can't judge about whether it's got women, we can't judge about whether it's got young people, we can't judge whether there's demons being cast out, we can't judge if people are falling down and screaming, crying. So what are the conditions by which we decide whether something really is revival of God or not? If there is a preacher present, and there may not necessarily be, as in the Welsh revival, the Holy Spirit will really touch people's lives. But when there is a preacher present, he will always focus on Jesus Christ. He will focus on the cross, on the blood of Christ. And there's lots of stuff going around the peripheral that may be of God, it may be people imitating, or it may be the devil infiltrating. But the fruit in people's life, because fruit speaks, if there's a true genuine revival, people's lives will be changed and they will want to read the Bible more. They will want to pray more. They will want to go into all the world and preach the gospel.